As India grows and urbanizes, meeting the ever-increasing water demand amidst water scarcity and pollution scenarios necessitates a major impetus on wastewater treatment and resources, recovery and reuse through mainstreaming of various related policies, laws and programs leading to an effective governance framework. To promote a wide-scale wastewater reuse and resources recovery system in India, a policy brief titled Mainstreaming Governance on Wastewater Treatment, Water Reuse and Resource Recovery, Learnings from India and the European Union has been developed out of the Pavitra Ganga project, a joint India-EU project that is jointly led by Terry, New Delhi and Vito, Belgium. We look forward to the formal launch of this policy brief and before that I request Mr. Anshuman, Associate Director Terry, to kindly give a small background of this policy brief. Hello everyone and greetings from Terry. At the outset may I thank Honorable Minister Sri Gajan Singh Shekhawatji who has kindly agreed to formally launch this policy brief titled Mainstreaming Governance on Wastewater Treatment, Water Reuse and Resources Recovery, Learning from India and the European Union. We are grateful and honored that our work will flow to the wider stakeholders group through your hands and blessings, sir. This policy brief is derived out of Pavitra Ganga project, a joint India-EU project and has been a joint effort of 14 partners from India and the European Union, including Terry, Vito, IREP, IIT Kanpur, IIT Delhi, Iron Exchange, IIT Dev, TU Dev, amongst others, and has been jointly funded by Department of Biotechnology and the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Program. As the name suggests, the policy brief focuses on developing and piloting robust treatment and reuse technologies along with policy interventions to address some of the existing challenges and promote wide-scale wastewater treatment, reuse and resources recovery systems in India. Meeting the ever-increasing water demand amidst water scarcity and pollution scenarios necessitates a major impetus on wastewater treatment, reuse and resources recovery. This policy brief brings together the learnings from 13 successful and not so successful case studies as well from India and the European Union, highlighting the barriers, enabling factors and best practices, as well as analysis of the Indian and the EU policy and regulatory frameworks. Together with the relevant stakeholders from central, state and the local level, the policy brief formulates recommendations to support the existing as well as future policy and regulatory reforms in India. We aim for the policy brief to be a driver to instill thoughts and action on mainstreaming upscaling efforts for wastewater reuse and resources recovery through innovative technological solution and policy interventions. I take this opportunity to thank Sri Rajiv Ranjan Mishraji, DG NMCG, who has kindly agreed to guide us and support us in the project. May I also extend my immense thanks to Ms. Anupma Madhosud, Director of Water Digest, to have provided us with the opportunity to share our policy brief and also to partner with us in various outreach endeavors from time to time. I once again thank the Honorable Minister and everyone for the opportunity to share our work and thoughts. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Anshuman. I also request Dr. Paul Campling, Business Development Manager from Vito, to say a few words. Thank you, Anshuman. Thank you, Honorable Minister Shakawat and Mr. Mishra. Many thanks to Water Digest for organizing such an impressive event. Good afternoon, everyone. Greetings from Belgium. I hope you are all keeping safe and well. I would like to say some supportive words to follow on from Anshuman. Pavitra Ganga is very happy to have this policy brief launched. It's an important milestone in the project as it's the first stepping stone in our overall water governance analysis in the project. From here onwards, we expect to move on with our assessments to gain more insights into how to ensure that the technological innovations in the project are effectively dealing with the barriers and factors highlighted in the policy brief. These assessments will take different forms over the coming months, but we'll, we will be having more co-creation workshops with stakeholders in New Delhi and Kanpur, and we want to delve into more depth about the critical issues and strategies for wastewater treatment and management. In relation to promoting wastewater reuse in India, an important activity will be the development of wastewater safety plans. 
This is so important, also in the context of the health concerns of the ongoing COVID-19 crisis, that we prioritise the reduction of health and environmental risks for using reclaimed wastewater for irrigation, while maximising the known benefits of having access to alternative sources of water. This is why in the project we are showcasing the added value of using sensors to assess the quality of reclaimed wastewater at the point of use. In addition, we are also ensuring that the performance assessments of our piloted technologies will be, will be based on a holistic approach using economic, environmental and social indicators. We therefore see this policy brief as an important stepping stone to a fully integrated approach to realising the potential of wastewater treatment and resource recovery in India. And we look forward to working further with our Indian partners and with you in the next stages of the project. Many thanks again and look forward to coming back to India in the near future after we have tamed COVID-19. Goodbye and keep it safe. Thank you, Dr. Paul. I now request the Honorable Minister for Jal Shakti, Sri Gajendra Singh Shikavatji, to officially launch this policy brief that focuses on developing and piloting robust treatment and reuse technologies, along with policy interventions to address some of the existing challenges and promote wide-scale wastewater treatment and resource recovery and reuse systems in India. Mm -hmm.